This is one of my favorite little shortcuts for working in Illustrator, especially if you have a drawing that's got a lot going on. So if you look up top, let me zoom in. This is actually a map that comes with Illustrator. And if you look, I'm going to click on some content here. I'll click on like Old Faithful, and you'll see it shows up in the text layer. That's great. If I click on, let's say, like a little river here, it shows up in Rivers and Drainage. Now, what I'd like to do is I'd like to be able to take all this content and select it so I can do something to it, okay? But I have to do this a lot, let's say. Or I want to select like different rivers or different content, and it's not easy to go over and try and select it from the layers. So here's what I can do. If I make a selection, let's say I, I do this. Let me undo that. I'll delete that. I'll click and drag and select some stuff. Now it's going to select multiple things. It's going to select some stuff out here. It's going to select like this, like that. So let me de I'm deselecting things here. So I've got what I want to select. Now, unfortunately, it's selecting a lot of different things. My first instinct when I first worked in Illustrator was to group this stuff so I can easily select it later on. But what happens when you group things that are on separate layers? Well, it tries to yank them all to one layer. So here's what we can do instead. If I go to select, you'll see something called save selection. Now, this has been in Illustrator since I don't know when. It's been a while. But if you click on some stuff, click save selection, and I call this, let's say, like old faithful. There we go. Click OK. Deselect somewhere. Next time I need to select that content, instead of going through and selecting and deselecting and doing all that, I can go up to the select menu and you'll see old faithful. Click on it. Automatically selects it. Now, I love that. I mean, that's just, it's really stupid simple, but I, you know, it's something that's really pretty cool. You can also apply a keyboard shortcut to save selection if you want to. I believe you can also do it to edit selection, either one. But that's something that's a little bit easier, I think, to make selections. So.